Which new cars depreciate the worst? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you. To do this, I've used information from car valuation company CAP. So they use all sorts of data to accurately predict how much new cars will be worth in the future when you come to sell them on. So what I did, I compiled a list of the worst depreciating model from every single manufacturer. And then I ranked these cars based on the percentage of their initial purchase price that they are worth after they are three years old and have done 24,000 miles, as this matches the most common terms of a car finance deal in the UK. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching CarWow, and the 25 worst depreciating cars currently on sale. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. The Mitsubishi Outlander SUV has been around for ages, and it's not exactly the most desirable car on sale, which could explain why it's only worth 39.9% of its original asking price after three years. That means you'll pay almost £30,000 for a new one, but you'll lose more than £17,000 when you come to sell it after three years. That's more than 60% of the original price that it's lost. Oops. The Renegade is the smallest car that Jeep makes, but it's also the one that drops by the largest percentage of its purchase price. After three years, this funky looking SUV is only worth 39.7% of its original asking price. You can actually buy a new one for a little over £23,000, but get ready to lose almost £14,000, or more than 60% of the initial value, when you sell it in three years' time. I actually thought that the worst depreciating Nissan would be the 370Z sports car. It's been around for ages and it's about to be replaced. But the 370Z loses out to the humble Micra. That car is only worth 39.3% of its original £14,500 asking price. That means you'll lose almost nine grand, almost 61% of your cash when you come to sell it. Ooh, big drop for a small car. The Alfa Romeo Giulietta is really getting on now. It's been around for 10 years. And this could be part of the reason why a three-year-old Giulietta will only be worth 39.1% of what it cost when it was new, which is £22,500 if you buy one today. So that means you'll be losing more than £13,000 when you come to sell one on, which is almost 61% of what you'll originally have paid for it. McLaren makes loads of really exclusive supercars, such as the Speedtail, the 765LT, and the Elva. Trouble is, this means that normal McLarens get forgotten about. And this could explain why the Humble 570 GT is only worth 39% of its recommended retail price after three years. A new one costs more than £157,000, but you'll lose more than £95,000, or 61% of the cash you originally spent on it when you come to sell it. Now I wonder whether McLaren's questionable reliability record has also affected the car's value. The Volkswagen Passat is a very good car, but it's not exactly exciting. And this could be why it's only worth 38.5% of its initial £27,000 recommended retail price after three years. So when you come to sell it, you'll be more than £16,000 out of pocket. You'll have lost more than 61% of the cash you originally paid for the car. Rolls-Royce makes some of the most expensive and exclusive cars in the world, but they are still hit with depreciation especially the Dawn Convertible. After three years, that car's only worth 38.3% of its £280,000 plus asking price. So you'll have lost a shocking £174,000 on it after three years. That's almost 62% of what you originally paid for it. Now, I wouldn't think that drag racing a Rolls-Royce is gonna do much for its value either, but I went and drag raced one, and I'll put a link to that video up there. If you click on that banner, you can go watch it if you want. The Suzuki SX4 S-Cross isn't the brand's most exciting car, and it doesn't hold its value very well either. This little SUV is only worth 38.1% of its £21,000 asking price after three years. So that means you'll be losing 13 grand, which is almost 62% of the cash you spent on it in the first place. The Galaxy is the biggest car Ford makes, and in this case, big applies to its depreciation as well. Buy a new Galaxy, and it'll be worth just 38% of its £34,000 asking price. This means you'll be losing £21,000 or 62% in depreciation. Jaguar sneaks ahead of the Ford on my list, but not in a good way. You see, three-year-old XFs are only worth 37.8% of their original asking price. So if you buy one for around £32,500, you'll lose more than £20,000 when you come to sell it on. That's more than 62% 
of what you originally paid for it. The worst depreciating Hyundai you can buy is the i30 Fastback. It might look better than your average hatchback, but it's only worth 37.6% of its original RRP after three years. This means your £25,500 Hyundai will have lost you almost £16,000. Or to put it another way, more than 62% of your investment. The Renault Megane is a perfectly good family hatchback, but it does a worse job at holding its value than any other Renault on sale. After three years, it'll only be worth 37.4% of its as new price. That means it's gone from a £17,000 car to one just worth six grand. You'll have lost 11,000 pounds in depreciation or 63% of the initial sale price. The worst depreciating Subaru you can buy is the Levorg. Probably something to do with its stupid name. Anyway, this left field estate is only worth 36.4% of its initial value after three years. So it goes from a 35,000 pound car to one that's worth 22,000 pounds less. You'll actually lose almost 64% of the money you originally spent on it. The Volvo S90 is also worth 36.4% of its original value after to three years, just like the Subaru Levorg then. But the S90 is much more expensive. It starts at more than £55,000 and this means you lose more money overall when you come to sell. More than £35,000 in fact. That's nearly 64% of the car's original price, which is why it goes ahead of the Subaru in this list. A three-year-old Smart 4.2 Cabrio is only worth 36.2% of its original price. You can pick up one of these electric convertibles for under £25,000, but when you come to sell it three years later, it'll be worth around 15 grand less. That's 64% of the original price. Sometimes cars depreciate because they tend to break down a lot, but Lexus builds some of the most reliable cars in the world. So it's a bit of a surprise that after three years, an LS saloon is only worth 35.7% of its original price. The LS starts from almost £80,000, so that means you'll be losing more than 50 grand over three years. That's more than 64% of what you paid for it when it was new. It's not just Lexus that makes big saloons that depreciate badly. It's even worse for BMW. After three years, a brand new 7 Series is only worth 35.6% of its asking price. That means this £70,000 saloon has dropped in value by more than £45,000. You'll actually have lost more than 64% of what you paid for it. Now, BMW is actually bringing out a load of new models next year, including some new M cars and an electric 7 Series. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest car news and reviews in between these video uploads, we do a newsletter through carway.co.uk. I popped a link up there, it's popping out in the top of the screen there. If you click on that, you can go to our website and sign up for that newsletter completely free of charge and you can unsubscribe at any time. The Vauxhall Astra is one of the best selling cars in the United Kingdom, but it's actually one of the worst for depreciation. If you buy one today, it'll only be worth 34.4% of the initial £19,000 starting price in three years time. That means you'll be out of pocket by more than 12 grand when you come to sell it on, which is almost 66% of what you'll have paid for it. Bentley builds some of the most desirable cars in the world, but that doesn't mean they're immune from depreciation. The worst depreciating Bentley you can buy is the the Mulsanne. This is the most expensive Bentley on sale, but it's only worth 34.1% of its £240,000 starting price after three years. That means you're down by more than £157,000 and you'll have lost almost 66% of what you originally paid for it. Now the Bentley is just going off sale and cars that are going off sale or are about to replace have a hard time retaining their value. And that's exactly what's happening to the Mercedes SL. If you buy one of these roadsters now, it'll be worth just 33 0.2% of its original price after three years. Now the starting price for an SL today is around £80,000, but you'll lose more than £53,000 if you buy one at full price and sell it, and that's 67% of the original value. Key thing with these cars though is not to pay the full asking price. You're gonna to wanna to get a discount, and if you wanna see how much money you can save on an SL through CarWow, put a link up there, pop in out, top right hand corner of the screen, click on that, you can see how much discount you can get on an SL quite a lot. Now we all know that MPVs are being phased out by SUVs these days, which is one of the reasons why there isn't much demand for a second-hand Citroen C4 Space Tourer. This seven-seater is only worth 32.6% of its retail price after three years. That means if you buy one for around £19,000, you'll lose out on around £12,500 when you come to sell it. This works out to 67% of the original asking price. Next up is another French car, in fact two of them, the Peugeot 308 and the Peugeot 108. After three years, both these cars 
was only worth 32.2% of their original price. That means if you buy a 108 for around £13,000 today, you'll lose more than £8,500 on it after three years. And if you go for a 308, which starts from around £22,000, you'll be almost £14,500 out of pocket after three years. For both cars, you'll actually have lost almost 68% of what you originally paid for them. The Quattroporte is the most luxurious Maserati you can buy, and you'll need somewhere comfy to sit when you find out how quickly it depreciates. After three years, one of these stylish saloons is only worth 32.1% of its initial asking price. So if you buy one from around £82,000, you'll lose more than 55 grand on it. That means it depreciates by 68%. It's a lot. Okay, so you might have expected a big Maserati saloon to depreciate pretty badly. But what about an Audi? Well, the new A8 depreciates even worse than the Quattroporte. A second-hand model that's only three years old will be worth 31.1% of its original asking price. But if you buy one now, it'll cost you more than £73,000. So you'll lose more than 50 grand when you come to sell it. That's almost 69% of what you'll have bought it for in the first place. Finally then, we come to the worst depreciating car on sale today, and it's the Fiat Tipo. One of these hatchbacks is only worth 29.7% of its original asking price after three years. So if you buy one now for about 15,500 pounds, you'll lose almost 11 grand on it when you come to sell. That's more than 70% of what you'll have paid for it in the first place. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Now, if you click up there, you can watch an amazing drag race between a Porsche 911 Turbo S and a Lamborghini. And if you click down there, you can watch me race some lorries with Yanni. If you click on that box there, you can go to Carway to see how much money you can save on a new car and thereby reduce some of the amount you'll lose on it in terms of depreciation.